The Abueva Place sculpture is an open invitation. A passerby of any age who sees the sculpture could easily get intrigued by its irregular appearance and may wonder what it is. It invites one to search for answers, to take guesses, or ask others about it. As for me, I would most likely tell about it to my friends and compare how the sculpture looks to us. Now, if the passerby is courageous enough to further entertain the quest for an exploration, he or she is sure to peek inside, enter the structure, and probably take it from there. The Abueva Place sculpture's appeal is that it allows for various levels of invitations to think or to feel or to act on these thoughts and feelings. It could be experienced in the level of the mind, in the emotions, or through active behaviors. For young children who naturally speak play, the Abueva sculpture is an invitation that for me would often end up being taken. In the UP Child Development Center, where a similar sculpture is located, it indeed is an all-time favorite. Young children are immediately drawn to the place culture, whether or not they are classmates or age mates. Suddenly, young children who accept the sculpture's invitations are huddled together inside the sculpture. Suddenly, it becomes a meeting place, a house, a cave, a store, a boat, a castle, or a place to rest. The possibilities are endless for children who speak play. The similar sculpture in the UPCDC has actually been named the Blue Whale, which is most probably a name that is born out of the imaginations of young children who were once students in the center. Such reactions of young children to a place culture actually relate very well to the characteristics of young children's play. There is a substantial amount of studies on play and child development that is devoted to the common play patterns observed among young children. These play patterns or schemas are the natural ways through which children typically explore their environment and learn about their world. As adults, we actually often observe these schemas and perhaps we may not be too aware that they serve a purpose for young children's play. For example, young children loves to connect and disconnect things, throw things, and transport things. Young children also love exploring things that change their shapes, their colors, and their forms. Moreover, young children also have the natural inclination to prefer enclosing themselves and hiding in spaces like boxes and play tents. And yes, enclosed structures like abuevas. Now, Abueva's play sculpture resonates to young children's natural curiosity, their characteristics, and most importantly, their needs. It becomes a sanctuary, a place where young children could temporarily hide from the view of observing adults, from the heat of the sun, or from a busy ground of play. It is inviting children because it speaks to children. It speaks play. Now, in child development studies, 
play is known to be the most natural manner through which young children could actively participate in learning about their world. Play also benefits children in so many ways, such that various perspectives connect the importance of play in the different aspects of the child. Physically, play is seen as a means to release the natural energies of children's bodies and likewise to restore the balance between activity and rest. Cognitively, play allows children to experiment with different materials which could further ignite their imagination, their curiosity, and understanding of the world around them. Taking note without restraints from adults. Finally, in the social-emotional aspect, play is viewed as the most child-appropriate way to express one's feelings and to socialize with peers. Since play is freely chosen by the children, it gives them a sense of control, confidence, and freedom. It also gives them opportunities to interact with other children and for some to play roles together in their imagined worlds. The Abueva Place culture allows all these opportunities to happen. It touches on the child's holistic self, physical, cognitive, and social-emotional domains. It also opens up opportunities for movements like climbing, crawling, or reaching. It steers imagination through make-believe play. And it also offers chances to meet a new friend, to wait for one's turn, and to collaborate in play. The Abueva Place culture invites young children to a world where there are limitless possibilities of play. It affords young children a unique opportunity to own their experience, to be masters of their world. For me, a structure that speaks an invitation to children's play deserves a special place not only in the children's hearts and happy childhoods, but also in discourses in the field of child development.